every club is different and every club wants to have their own style of play and the machine learning you do and the modeling you do should reflect that style of play and so what we've been doing and we work with some of the absolute biggest clubs and i don't know how you should say this when you say biggest i think every club is a big club but the richest clubs in the world to some of the poorest clubs in the world um and we we help them with exactly this type of um thing so thinking out what's important to them what are the kpis key performance indices which are important to them in scouting performance opposition analysis and then building metrics and delivering metrics that work and describe how they want to play and i think again this is something that a lot of you guys will be thinking about now that um with within a club you need to have these four different types of roles you need to have and uh, i i illustrate it how it how it looks today in many clubs is something like that so we have the data architect and the data scientist sort of disappear might be a student who's doing a few things maybe there's no data architecture at all then there's a lot of people who are very good at tactical uh being a tactical analyst and a scout and also then there's technical analyst and what i mean by that is sort of using power bi um using those sorts of sorts of tools to get the most out of your data there's more and more people who are doing that within the club but what i think is going to what is needed more help with is exactly this data scientist data architect and that's what we've been focusing on doing so um not i mean i don't want to give the impression we're replacing them what clubs are strong at is that so what we try to be strong at are these things um lots more clubs have got api access and we're we're helping them out out with that type of thing um one last thing i want to say on like how we work with this because we found that there's a good way there's a good sort of general approach here and the approach is this is to listen to what people inside the club want is then to use those words to turn them into a number a kpi where you can measure and then instead of always like banging on about the particular numbers you want to end with a visualization and to give you a, a solid idea of this this is barcelona women's team um this isn't a team we've worked with but uh, i just took them up as an example we have worked with a team who said the following when we win the ball back we want to create chances and so we used expected goals as part of a metric and we said that every ball recovery how many expected goals were created and if you look very closely you'll see there's lots and lots of little dots there and they're all the ball recoveries but the circles the larger circles are the expected goal created when the ball was won back and you can see there was one two three goals for barcelona when they transitioned when they won the ball back and this becomes a powerful way of just presenting that simple idea so we go from words to numbers and then to visualizations and this visualization can be put in front of the players um when it's going well as it is just now or even when it's going badly when there's none of those creations and they can learn and use them on a weekly basis to to understand and develop 